Hey, hi, hello everyone. This is Samantha here of Samantha Sutherland Art and Books. I like to talk about art, I like to talk about books, um, books about art, and occasionally um, other books too. <laughs> How are you all this evening? Um, I'm coming up to you on a Thursday evening. My daughter's on half term for the next two weeks. So I wanted to make this video. So, because I know it's been a while since I've made my last video and um yeah i've got a little bit of haul and some goodies to show you um and a cup of tea and also if at any point i shriek make an action noise funny face i have the last few weeks been dealing with something called gtps I saw my doctor last week she poked my leg and she, i screamed the surgery down and she said yeah you've got greater trochanteric pain syndrome which basically means i have bursitis of the hip so um i've been given and um oh, anti-inflammatories to take when i need them i've been given um exercises to do and then if it's not any better in two in three four weeks i have to go see an actual proper physio because we have physios at our surgery, our doctor's surgery, and that's who I saw. And they can send me to um, physio quicker than, than it would normally be. Because usually you have to wait for like months and months and months for an appointment. But if you go do it through the doctors, well, our doctors anyway. So anyway, you don't carry on. You don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about what I have in front of me and to the side of me. Because I have quite a bit. <laughs> and I also remembered something else so um i have since christmas been treating myself and buying cheaper books and more expensive books i know that aren't going to stay at decent price but will shoot up very soon kind of books um and i'll start with one that i'm reading at the moment this this is an artist who i follow on instagram i i also subscribe to on YouTube <laughs> and she started to post on to YouTube which I'm super happy about because I absolutely love her artwork it's so bright bold colorful very pretty very beautiful very not what I thought I would be into at the moment but at the moment I just really am feeling bright colors and flowers and and just bold shapes and, and things her name is Emily Powell she's written a book with her sister it's called start painting now and as you can see, I've actually been reading this. Um, it's a beautiful, quick, lovely, comforting read. I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm 47 pages in. And also, she mentions one of my favourite artists, which is Agnes Martin. This, this book has like tips and hints and um, things for you to try, as well as... Um, things like self-care because it's very important and her also their artwork as well put their artwork in and also them working on their art i got this from i think it might have been world of books it may have been amazon i looked at both and i think one was about the same price as the other one if i had it delivered also i can't remember now or well, there might have been a couple of pound or a pound all so um between the two but me being impatient decided to go with amazon although i think i did get it from world of books on amazon i'm not sure i'll have to double check um but yes um they've written a book like finding creative connections as well and it's just a it's just a book full of great advice and inspiration and i absolutely love this book um and it's yeah it's given me some um really great inspiration and also things like emma Mellie's reaction to agnes martin so she's done her own, own version of what agnes martin might have done but in a very bright and bold way i'm in love with this painting but there's some in here that i absolutely love um and i have a thing about boats i don't know why i just have a thing about boats as well but look at this I absolutely am in love with this. If I had this in my house, I would smile every time I saw it. Because every time I see Emily Powell's work, it makes me smile. Like Sandy Hester's 
or um, Mel Chadwick's or Crixis, who's, who I also follow on YouTube. That, you know, it's, it's artwork is, is something that I think my favourite type of artwork is, is one that makes you smile. And Emily's definitely makes me smile. I think she lives in, in Cornwall, I think. Could be wrong. But anyway, yeah, um, start painting now. Discover your artistic potential. Yeah, I mainly got it because I want to start painting in much more brighter colours. And I don't know if you can see my nail, but my daughter um, did my nails for me. And they remind me of Emily Powell painting. And they love it. They've got like, yeah, sorry, <laughs> completely off, off thingy there. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really loving really bright artworks at the moment. If you look at my Pinterest board, it's full of really, one of my boards is full of just really bright abstract art. My next book, which is probably my all time favourite at the moment because I went to the works. Um, I, we went out on, I think it was Tuesday maybe. Um, I didn't want to go out because I felt lousy and yeah, it was Tuesday. I felt lousy and I didn't really want to go out and we went to Altrincham and my husband said about going to the works and I was like, I don't really want to go, but I'm okay. Because he's like, you might see something, we should go. Fine. So we went <laughs> and I'm glad he talked me into it because this book was on sale it should normally be 14.99 i got it for two pounds 50 from the works and i love this book and i've just discovered this artist i now follow her on instagram youtube um, she's got a facebook page and she's called terry runyon she's got quite a few books out she's got like um how to draw happy characters sort of thing and then she's got painting with painting happiness and painting cats and yeah um, I want all of her books because they they look absolutely fantastic especially for anything like this book I'm in love with this book um it's painting happiness creativity with watercolor and obviously it's got the the usual like how to find your um style and how to paint shapes and I, I opened it to this page and I saw the bunny rabbit and I was sold because I love rabbits um, she's got two cats called Tucker and Bailey and I think they're an inspiration for a lot of her paintings because she does a lot of painting for cats. So I'm in love with this book um, and it's just like little things like this and the colours and it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to enjoy reading this book when I get to it. Also someone else I follow on Instagram um, Francis Ives, the artist. I purchased this as a little treat to myself. She only had a few left, so I thought I'd best grab one quick. It's Wandering Sketchbooks Drawing from Around the UK. And this is a absolutely this is beautiful. I just wish my wish my sketches came out as well as this. Um I'm not quite sure where she's based. Could possibly be so well, I think it's somewhere in the south. I have su suspicion it's possibly in Cornwall, but I could be completely wrong, and I probably am. Uh, anything or anyone I speak about, talk about, or mention, or I have bought or purchased, I will put in the description box below. So I will, I will find out where um, Francis Ives is from. And this is just beautiful, and it's one of my favourite pages in this little zine which is this and I love seeing sketchbooks where artists have like an unfinished page because that's me <laughs> all over so yes um I I instantly wanted to, as soon as I found out she had these back in stock I wanted one and this was like a bit of a present to myself um because I'm hoping the next few weeks I mean we've been hoping and, and hoping to go out anyway but um, I'm hoping that next week with my daughter being on half term we can go out sketching or I can go out sketching she'll probably sketch with me I bought this book I was on um I was surfing the web I don't even know what I was putting in it was like silly clock in the morning I couldn't sleep and I came across an article by Dr Ali Foxen and she um I think she at some point possibly did art um, and she moved to somewhere and she felt very isolated and 
and I'm sorry but my nose is itchy, I don't know why, but she felt very isolated and very depressed and she went for a walk, I think, I think, I may be possibly wrong, but I think after the birth of her child she felt very lonely, I think it was after that, I can't remember because I did, I did read the bump and then I read the, the reviews of the book and I, I was like, I have to get this book. And it's basically how to get yourself back to nature for drawing. It's called the Green Sketchbook Sketching Handbook, Relax, Unwind and Reconnect with Nature. And I thought this would be perfect because me not being very confident out in public as well, this might give me some confidence to sit and sketch in public and also give me some inspiration as well. So I'm looking forward to reading this book. I'll probably read this alongside the Emily Powell book, to be quite honest. Um, another book, Mark, um, Harold, I think that's how you say his name, as I'm dyslexic, I can't decipher surnames sometimes, but I do know this guy is an amazing artist, I've seen his artwork, if you watched, um, there's a thing on Sky Arts to do with, I think he put in it, um, the Prince Charles thing where he was trying to resurrect, like, dying um crafts and it was really good the first series was fantastic the second was kind of a bit rubbish because they they filmed it during covid and it just didn't have the the same kind of um enjoyment as the first series and i i know why but they could have pushed it back like everything else but they mm, it kind of didn't have the same feeling as um the first series which was amazing and I hope they make an, a third series, and I hope the third series is more like the first series, not the second series, because I'd forgot it was even on. Um, it didn't come up. But yeah, um, he's a um, mixed media artist, does lots of collage. This is his condensed copy of his book. I got this off World of Books, I'm pretty sure. It was a couple quid cheaper than Amazon. And... It's condensed because his actual book is quite big. This has got tiny writing in it. Um, so I need my reading glasses to actually definitely read this. But it's it shows his mind mapping, which is really cool. I need to I think I need to kind of go back to doing that as well, to be honest. Um, his birds and beasts, which is beautiful. I'm hoping I'm getting this in the right spot because obviously not being able to see and it's a tiny screen um I love this because I've got I also like chickens <laughs> and it goes over his processes and things like that and yeah if you've ever seen this guy's work it is amazing um that noise you may have heard is my tablet giving me a notification or update um, he does things like this too. But this was published by Merrill and it's a fantastic book. It's beautiful, it's very heavy. So can you imagine how he much heavier the bigger version is? This is the smaller version. But it's a beautiful book and they didn't have many left and I couldn't find any other <clears throat> any other copies. So I figured out oh, heck, I'm just gonna buy it. Um because at some point I'm not gonna be able to afford it because it was already starting to go up in price. Um, and also, is it the last one? Yeah, my last book is, oh, sorry, I've got my leg on a pillow. It was stuck under the pillow, which you didn't really need to know, did you? <laughs> Hilma F. Clint, Visionary. Now, this is a beautiful book. It's got a lot of information, I think, essays on the artist and her work and people's thoughts on her work. Um, I would have been, I mean, I've, I, it wasn't cheap. I don't know how much it was, but it was a big treat to myself. But um, because I thought if I don't buy it now, it's already again starting to go up in price and I can't find many copies. So if you're familiar with Hilma F. Clint, she was kind of a metaphysical kind of artist. She was um, an abstract artist. She was well ahead of her time. She used things like... Um, moon phases and zodiac phases and things in her work and things like that I think anyway from what I can vaguely remember um this has got some of her artwork in but I would like a book that literally has her artwork in it 
a, a lot more than this one but that's gorgeous but yeah that's the books i bought myself over the last few months um many of them were kind of i got from world of books because they're nice and cheap and one or two of them were a little bit pricey but i had christmas money so i decided to treat myself also um i bought myself one of these which is a um tear off disposable palette which i do like it i just wish i'd got the bigger one and i didn't know they did a bigger one and also well i just want to let you know you can't use these for collaging i tried um the paint just peels off when you cut the shapes and stuff out and when you try and paint over it the paint just sloughs off so um it ends up looking pretty well at least that's what i found anyway i mean people might use these for um collaging but i won't ever be using them for collage again i made this really intricate little collage and it, it almost got ruined um because literally because of the it's shiny on one side off the seat so it's waterproof on one side and it's kind of stuck together because of the paint i've been using because i get paint absolutely everywhere i got this just to you know kind of save on thing to wash my palette every time i use it which i really don't i know i should but but i did like the usefulness of this i'd probably take it out with me maybe um if i was to do major like paint outside also um because i'm looking for something that i can put my lap when i'm in the car so i've got a few things next to me and things like a little mini art kit so sort of thing um i bought um this it is for your sketchbook and it's for putting um things on like um materials like pencils and pens and paintbrushes and things this is by tansy hagen you can buy it from her website it's the only place you can get one of these and it comes with um this at the back so that you're able to put your sketchbook on it it's, it takes a small sketchbook and i'll show you the one i've bought i bought this pith sketchbook um oh i just thought you could use it back to front mm. yeah i bought myself a pith sketchbook i thought i was buying a slightly bigger one with that was wobbly because um Crixis linked a load of her art materials and I clicked on the link, went to Jackson's and this is the one I ended up buying when I thought and it's only little, the last small sketch book I bought I gave to my daughter but I thought this is a little bit of a pricey thing just to give her because I don't really like the size of it and then I thought you know what stop complaining have a go at using this size and because I usually like to work big but you know if you can't work big because you're in the car my husband drives so but I, I have used it to swatch the colors that i will kind of show you i don't know all of all of them are just the ones of these ones but i've got quite a few i've been treating myself to art materials too um but yeah so this goes on on this and it's not going to fit now is it <laughs> no my look it won't fit So yeah, um, also it means, you know, like you've got a viewer as well, like people have like to use view, viewer type things and um, so that they can like look through this bit. So you've got your bit like that and you're kind of looking at like a tree or something, um, you hold it obviously like this, so you'd be sketching. It means you're not holding a, a viewer up and your sketchbook with a pen in your mouth and trying to sketch with it and it holds three pencils or pens so i'll just quickly show you i've not actually used this since i bought it i bought it last december um like i said i had some christmas money and this is what i spent the christmas money on and you put your pencils or whatever and something like that which I thought was kind of cool. And yeah, so this is by Tansy Hagen. I will link her. Her um, website's really interesting. Um, I can highly recommend it. I was, I found her thanks to Fibre Arts Take Two. Because they're back 
they are back doing interviews with artists and textile artists and ceramicists and well artists in general which i'm really happy about because i absolutely love watching their channel i mean i can sit and watch an hour and a half interview and happily sit there and watch the whole thing um i've yeah so i can definitely recommend that channel my probably my favorite channel on youtube on my, my on my art youtube channel so yeah um i'm hoping that during this half term to get out and do some actual sketching and i can take this with me and i can use it in the car and i can i can i want to get one of those little um like knee trays so i can put stuff on so i can take this with me and do sketching and things so talking of pencils i kind of went a little bit mad um with christmas money and stuff and i bought myself something i have been wanting for absolutely ages but i didn't want the set because i wanted to put my own colors together luminance pencil crayons pencil colored pencils not pencil crayons makes it sound like the crayon crayons but they're not but um yeah i watched lots of mel chadwick crixis and mel chadwick crixis and there's another artist i do follow her and i have forgotten her name that is really bad of me um i can't think of a name that's really bad i'm gonna look it up because otherwise it's gonna drive me nuts um but yeah so i bought myself some luminous lumin karen dash luminance pencils crayons I did three, um, three orders in so many weeks, and I went through their. They've got an affiliate link with Jackson's, and I went through their affiliate link, so they get a little bit of money back, and they get like a, you get a discount if you're new two jacksons oh and they also get um a little bit of a kickback um a little bit of money back natasha newton natasha newton Melanie chadwick and crixis who i think all live kind of down south near not too far from each other but um yeah i looked at their um their their uh, materials videos and i took notes and then i i kind of went I like their colours but I like these colours more because then I thought I think I mentioned this in the last video I figured um why copy their palette because it's not going to be your palette as an artist you have your own favourite colours my favourite colours are autumnal colours and lots of greens and different different you know like mucky kind of greens or dark greens or light greens and then you've got your greys and your greens and your blue and your no one has the same colour palette if every artist had the same colour palette art would be really boring life would be boring and yeah so i um bought myself a few pencils i couldn't resist because i had some like i said i had a bit of um money from relatives at christmas and i also uh took some advice and i think i'm missing a pencil as well unless it's mixed up with all this uh, because ah yes because one of them is actually a pit pastel by faber castle castle castell <laughs> um so yes i also bought myself um a mechanical pencil which i have left over there and i'm not going to go up and get it now because it took me ages to sit down <laughs> because of my life so yeah so i've got all sorts of different colors um, I can't even tell you the colours because I've lost the receipt from Jackson's. I think some of them might have come from Cassar. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so you've got light grey, sky blue, moss green. Um, numbers 748906025. There's all sorts of colours. There's ochres and there's moss colours and there's, there's like sky blues and all sorts. So I'm covered... A little bit this is the beginning of my of my collection and i hope to add more to this um but yeah if you go to melanie chadwick or natasha newton 
or Crixis or Emma Woodthorpe or Deborah Woodthorpe, they've all got affiliate links. An affiliate link you click to go to Jackson's. These are all artists I follow on on YouTube. Um, and I do the free Patreon thing as well because um, I'm on Patreon for quite a few. <laughs> I wish I could sub I wish I could Patreon for everyone, but um, I think I might be a bit bankrupt if I did that. Um, but yes, they have an affiliate link to Jackson's. So yes, and then I bought myself. Um, I have no idea how to use any of these, so it's going to be a learning curve. Bought this. This is fantastic. This is a one for all by Molotto. It's um, acrylic blue. It's kind of like a giant Posca. How cool is that? And this is the colour you get from it. How cool is that? I got this to do skies with so that I can do like a main sky lay down and then I just go into it with pencil, pencil colours and stuff like that. Yeah, I got um, Ecoline watercolour paintbrushes, pen type things, um, which they are beautiful to use. So I got um, pink, uh, pink red, a ready pink. I got um, green. I got sky blue. I got um, something grey, like a mid grey. It does actually give the name. Yeah, I got a um, cold grey. And then I got Tombow. I've been after Tombows for ages. So I went for the, the blue. No, I didn't. I went for the greens. I went for, uh, I don't know exactly what colours these are. There's a, these, again, are water-based um, pens. So you've got the paintbrush bit. Oops, sorry. There you go. So you've got the paintbrush bit there. And then you've got, like, the smaller nib for more detailed work. There. So yeah, um, I bought myself some art materials as a because I knew that I would have to sit in the car quite a bit at the moment to paint and draw. And also, um, my husband um, treated me to some paints. He bought me some um, Sennelier acrylic paints, which I'm in love with. He bought me about three of them, but he also bought me these. These are Turner acrylic wash. I have used them. They are very gorgeous to use. They're Japanese. And they come in, these are the main, these are like the primary colours. Um, these were from Cass Art, I believe. So yes, um, I'm very happy with these. And I, I got a few of the things. I got paintbrushes as well, and I've left the paintbrushes downstairs. Uh, and also, as I've already mentioned, I have been watching Crixis, Natasha Newton, Melanie Chadwick, Emma Woodthorpe, Deborah, her sister as well. She lives, I think, in the Lake District, near the Lake District, I think. Um, and I've also been watching Fiber Arts Take Two, Terry Runyon, and there is another artist, I can't think of their name. But yes, um, I've been busy watching YouTube as well. So, um, yeah, um, I think that's everything really. Um, I've not really been out much. I've not been out to, able to get out much for mainly because of my leg and also because I've been really ill, unfortunately. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping that I'm able to get out next week because this week is going to have to stay a nice, easy week because it's nearly the end of the week. It's Thursday. Um, and it's been absolutely chucking it down. The weather has been awful. Well, I was hoping to go for a a walk today or something but we ended up going to Hobbycraft because I needed something for a very important project I'm making doing which I will share more information next week keep an eye on Instagram though because I will be um, posting a picture on there so um, I don't really want to say a huge amount because I haven't got all the details in front of me also, if you're at a loose end, I have um, a piece of artwork I collabed with um, some other wonderful ladies in the um, textile group I'm a member of. It's being held or it's being put on at home in Manchester. I'm hoping to get there possibly next Tuesday or Wednesday. I want to go on a quiet day, but I want to go one more. Well, it'll be one day next week because my little girl wants to go. 
um, we went to the coffee thing, um, but it was very loud, very noisy, and it wasn't great to walk around what we had created. So I'm looking forward to going to home in Manchester um, to do that. I will probably take my sketch back. I need to do more sketching. I really should do more sketching. But yes, um, I think that's all for now, really. Um, just I'm hoping to get out and do some sketching, even if I can't, there's Google Maps, I suppose. And there's this this map thing that Crixis uses, which is really cool. It's like a random, random place in the world every day and it's very pretty you can walk around you can walk around it with your camera with the camera thing you can like google maps you can kind of move it um and it's kind of cool so i want to have a go at using that um so yeah i'm going to stop rambling now because i have been going on for about half an hour ish um the only plans or ideas or things we have to do is get the house sorted out um we want to redecorate as well um, mainly because we've had a mould problem and we need to deal, finish dealing with it. So we're going to do that by putting anti-mould paint all over the walls. Or where the, the, the walls are um, against, you know, like the weather and stuff. And then hopefully um, I'm going to get to paint a mural on my daughter's wall. Either that or an actual piece of artwork for her room. She doesn't quite know about that yet. So, yes, um, I will see you all again very soon. Stay warm, stay cosy, especially in this weather because it's kind of pants, isn't it? Oh, also, I completely forgot. I've been watching Dotty Delightful. She's absolutely delightful. She's fantastic. She's a lovely, lovely person. And I've really been enjoying watching her videos. And I'm going to go back over some a couple of her videos where she goes for a walk because I'm going to do some quick sketching as she's walking around. Um, but yes, um, I hope one day to get to meet her. We were friends on Facebook for, for a little while and then someone hacked her Facebook and then she had to get a new account and I found her again and I'm really, really happy I found her again because I just, I am in love with watching her artwork and her studio is, it just, she just makes you smile as well. She's so lovely. I hope one day to meet her. Um, so, and she, she lives in, I think, Yorkshire. So she's not a, a million miles from me, but, um, I'm hoping I get to meet her at some point. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going now. I'm going to go finish my cup of tea. I'm going to go and um, do something. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, and I will see you all very soon. Um, happy sketching, happy painting, happy drawing, happy creating of artworks. Have a great week. What's left of it. Have a great weekend. If you're on half term holidays, I hope you're coping and I will see you all again very soon. Um, hopefully the first week after my little one goes back from half term. So until then, I'll see you later. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you for spending this time with me and I hope to see you all again very soon. So um, if you like art, if you like books and if you like talking about art and books, that happen to be art books as well, then you're in the right place. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go away. <laughs> so I'll see you all later on. Bye bye, everyone. See you later.